We're live this afternoon from Wellington Park. You join us for this T20 between Sri Lanka and Zimbabwe. I'm Mike Atherton and with me in the commentary box today is Ali Mitchell and the dashing David Gower. Hi Mike, thanks for that intro. I've just been taking a look at conditions down in the middle. And I think with this surface there's a little bit there for batters and bowlers alike. The ground staff have done a brilliant job. I'm really interested to see which way the captains go when the coin is tossed. Looks like this cloud is set for the day, but at least no rain is forecast. Wonderful insight there from David Gower. Captains are ready for the toss. Let's join them in the middle. Going to bat first, bit of a surprise call. I cannot see the benefit of batting in these conditions and the bowlers will have a spring in their step. Players look ready. The umpires are in position for the first ball. The bowlers will want to focus on their line and lengths and let the ball do the rest. Yes! Big edge! There'll be one run here for them. Immediately underway with some runs. A big opportunity. They've worked hard in recent weeks. They should have the confidence to build an innings and get big runs on the board. Wait! Can't get that outside the ring field. No runs on that occasion, got into position nicely just too early on the shot, couldn't find a gap. Yeah, yeah. There'll be runs here. And they're away and nicely off the mark. Edge. Didn't time it at all, but managed to get it away to the boundary. A wonderful delivery to get the edge. We've got to keep hammering away at that spot time and again. Yep. Into the gap. Nice shot. A couple on offer here, Zimbabwe end of the over, eight, eight off it. Zimbabwe are eight for none. A new bowler is coming into the attack. Yep. Couldn't get it through the field. It's the sort of dismissal that sees the momentum swing back to the bowler. Gone, but not for many. Coming to the wicket, they'll be looking to play within the V early and expand as they get settled. Just through the shot too early. Nice shot, runs possible. I for one reckon that second run was on, but clearly the batters knew better. Walsh takes guard. 
been in pretty good touch lately. You wouldn't want to let them get away early with some easy boundaries. Yep. Walsh gets off the mark. Yep. Great shot. At least one on offer. Brilliant diving stop. Maybe they didn't pick it up. Very late on the shot. End of the over. Four off it. Zimbabwe are 12 for one. Wait. What great yeah! reactions. Brilliant catch close in. As they head back to the pavilion, they'll be wishing they went about this innings a little differently. Not too much to speak of on the scoreboard. The field will come up now, you'd think. Pressure should definitely be on the new batter, who strides to the middle. They will be looking for another quick wicket. Yep. Good shot. It's found the gap. Keeper, keeper! Well, there wasn't a lot of time to choose the right end, but unfortunately, they went for the wrong one. That shot sees them get their innings started.